so hello and welcome guys so guys in today's video we are going to create the event handler and we are going to need the command handler too so guys first of all we are going to use few modules first of all it will be the redirectory sync from the fs module and then it will be the join module i mean the join function from the path module well you do not have to download fs and path because they are already installed in node so guys first of all what we have to do is we need to create a folder for event let's name it events and create one with ready.js and one for interaction it will be interaction create.js for slash commands but anyways these, these will be our folders where we are gonna import our event so first of all we will do read directly sync and then we are gonna give the path so guys to provide the path in this read directory function you are gonna use join dash dash directory name comma the directory where you wanna go so from the current file so it will be dot slash events and then we are gonna get all of our, our files of this event folder right here then we are just gonna use for each values equals to this so now we are gonna do client uh, what, yeah client dot on so event dot well let's make it file it will be more easy to understand then i have a feeling so file dot spit dot well if you do not know what split function do it just splits a function into an array for example if we have something like hello dot example dot com and if we use split with this string thing and the dot it will be converted into an array which contains hello comma example comma dot com you know and you know what so that we are going to do and then we are gonna access the first element that will be ready or interaction create here so after that we are we are listening this event now we have to do something when we get this event so first of all we are going to take all of the arguments that we are getting and then we are going to use require function let me use this dot slash event slash dollar file so what is it is going to do is it will dynamically read all these files and add this function this thing for for those events so we are going to pass the client and all of the arguments one by one instead of a simple array so this is it it is quite simple it is our wait a sec it is our event handler and let's create one for our command well before creating that handler for commands let's just do this client dot command discord dot collection and here we are just creating a new instance of this collection class and then we are gonna end we are gonna create this thing client dot categories uh, how to spell it man is equals to read directory sync wait read directory sync and the location will be directory name comma dot slash commands and yeah, of course we have to create another folder for the commands commands and probably one for uh, general commands and one for let me think owner this is it quite simple and straightforward so let's start our command handler so we are gonna do redirect sync wait let me wait a second we are gonna use for loop because we have already all the categories initialized here so we are gonna use the for loop i will be less than client dot categories dot length terminate i plus plus so what this first loop do it just read through all of the categories now we have to get all of the commands of that category for that we will do a simple thing it is we are going to do const commands is equals to read directory sync directory wait join directory name comma dot slash commands slash the category name and how we are going to get the category name it will be quite simple client dot categories and we are going to read this array and bam now we have all of the commands of a particular array sorry of a particular category here so now we are going to read through all of these commands for that we will do let j is equals to 0 terminate j is less than commands dot length terminate j plus plus quite simple now now we have, we are reading through each and every file by the way let's add a filter filter file is equals to file dot ends with dot js 
now we are reading all the files which ends with dot js so first of all we are gonna do const command is equals to require um, dot slash command slash the category name will be coming from here categories bracket i and the file name slash command name will be coming from here command i sorry j j so this will be our command or maybe a file now we have to check if it is a legit file i mean legit command so first of all we are going to do if not command or if not command question mark dot data question mark dot name or type of uh, type of command question mark dot run is not equals to function if it is not true i mean if any of this condition is true this means it is not a complete command so we are just going to type continue that means just ignore the uh, rest of the code of this loop and begin with the next iteration so now here we are going to do this we are going to do client dot commands dot set and here it will be command dot data dot name comma client sorry comma command my bad so here we are just going to save the command in that collection and this is it probably it should work but before that we have to create some real commands i'm gonna do ping.js it will be something like this module.export is equals to we are gonna have two things first of all it will be data well i'm doing i'm doing this data thing because we are creating slash commands and we have to provide specific data to to the api discord api okay all right i got disturbed but anyways now we are gonna do this it is just a simple ping command so we will do client dot wait no 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 my bad. interaction dot reply um content content will be the client dot ws dot ping by the way if you do not know these properties you can just do this you just you can just add the documentation and then you will get suggestions if you are using visual studio code for example if i do interaction dot i am getting all the possible properties by the way it is not interaction it is command interaction interaction dot reply um, dot reply it provides you all of the things you can add it can be embed and more stuff you know what i'm saying well i do not need it so i will just remove it and in data we we need few we need to add few properties and it is compulsory otherwise you will get an error while creating the slash command the name will be ping by the way it should be lower case and no spaces no special symbols except for dash and underscore so name and a description this comma let me think it's options options can be an empty array and we need one more thing it is type but discord js automatically do, do it for you so you can ignore that and this is it for the ping command let's create another one uh, let's name it uh, status.js yeah we will create the status let me copy the thing and paste it right here and instead of ping let's just make it status and description will be well options will be and name name will be status and there are same rules for the name thing and description will be and it is an important uh what should i say a parameter or option so we are going to do it quite true by the way these properties are very important well this one too type will be string these four properties are very useful and needed so make sure you are providing them always and if it is not required then just make it false but it is so we are going to make it true well we are just checking if this owner array includes the user id so first of all we have to create the owner array we will just do client.owners is equals to an array and let me get my discord id real quick and bam i got it and pasted it just paste your id here and bam it is done we have to change the status too we'll do client dot uh, wait i do not remember the property let me do this client dot user dot set activity it was something like this dot just add some options here name will be name will be yeah name will name is equals to the the status so we are going to do interaction dot options dot get string and its name will be status comma true name will be this type will be let me think what can be the type type will be plain because custom didn't work last time i used it let me copy and paste 
and we are gonna dollar interaction dot options dot get string status we did it i guess this is it uh wait it is in wrong place all right so it is done now we have to test if this code is working or not dude i i created a lot of shit i will explain everything just bear with me i will i will teach you everything just let me make sure if it is working require is not a function Require is not a function. Oh yeah, my bad. It is not a function. Sorry guys, I'm... Uh, wait. Oh, shoot. We didn't initialize the event. Let me do it real quick. Model.exports is equals to a function which takes the client parameter because it is the ready event. And we are just gonna do a few things. Console.log client is up. And we are gonna create this slash command. And for that, you just have to do client.application.commands.set and we are going to provide some commands and for that we will just do this array dot 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 client dot commands dot map value is equals to value dot data so what this thing do is it just get the array of the data property of uh, of our commands and i'm going to add this id because i want these slash commands to only work in a particular server if you want to make them global just remove this part this is it and for the interaction thing, module.exports is equals to client comma interaction. Huh, man, how to do it? Client comma interaction is equals to this. Control plus X. So now we are gonna check if it is an command or not. Interaction dot is command. And if it is not in command, we are just gonna return through this thing. Return terminate um terminate um, and terminate. And now we are gonna add a try catch just to catch possible errors and it will be if there is an error we are just gonna log the error first of all and then we are gonna reply to the user and now in the try part we actually have to run the command for that we are gonna do client dot um, command dot get and here it will be interaction dot command name i hope the syntax is totally right run and we are gonna provide client for my interaction terminate so this is it now what we what else we have to do let me think well all functions are done let me cls and bam i hope it works now i really hope okay client cannot read property commands of undefined all right the issue was it was i typed it as application but it was just application so just fix it and bam it is done no dot enter well let's i totally okay client is up all right guys the client is on let's test the thing let me let me show you the screen wait for a sec bam all right guys let me test it let's go to bots slash ping slash ping get the bots ping this is this is the one we created enter i hope it works i hope it works okay it is working slash status um status will be hello youtube bam let's see if it is going to change okay bam it works so guys our command handler and event handler is working and this is it for this video in next video we are probably going to create ticket system or maybe something or maybe an interactive help command with the help menu and something well we'll see and peace out and if you want to say anything you can say that in comment section or in our discord server we'll meet you later thanks for watching bye